You can follow along getting into the position as well as do the actions along the video. It'll probably be much easier when it comes to the routine. Whatever learning style works best for you if you need to watch it first or if we do it together in real time. But if you're going to go along with the video, take a few seconds, find an armless chair or bench or ottoman that's comfortable to sit in. You'll want to sit nice and tall, have it so that your knees are approximately hip height. You can hit pause. I'm going to switch over to the video screen to walk you through each of the positions. Here we go. Positioning yourself on the edge of your armless chair, your feet are flat, legs shoulder width apart. You'll begin by lifting your rib cage slightly up. Please relax your jaw, allowing your mouth to be slightly opened. You're tall, tall, tall. First, focus on your shoulders for one second. Lift them up, roll them backward, and then slowly slide your shoulder blades down your back. Great, let's release that. Done consistently each day, the positioning will become habitual and actually more comfortable for you. Now, with a position under your belt, we move into the three focus actions that this routine layers onto this position. Focused action one, using the lower third of your abs, pressing the air out of your lower belly. We practiced this, went through all the detail of setup and how to find the particular muscles in train this one muscle. If it's still feeling awkward, everything is online for you to go back and check in and practice. With your spine tall and the pressing of your lower third of your abs, exhaling the air out of your open mouth, you'll notice that your pelvis tips a bit, actually rotating. And that's perfect. It's exactly what we want our body to do. With your mouth slightly open, the air is pressed out by the contraction of your lower abs. We're never blowing the air out. Instead, we're letting the work of our lower abs do the work of pressing it out. The typical sound you'll make is that right? It's not, it's this focused action runs throughout the entire routine. Focused action two, where we are layering on the use of the deep muscles in the upper, middle, and lower region of your spine. To do this challenge, we move our arms back and forth. As we move them forward, the palms of our hands face each other. It's paying attention to the tiniest of details that add up to the biggest impact. The way I have you rotating your hands in the different positions impacts the muscles of the upper spine and these little guys. But they're not randomly chosen. When your arms are forward, your hands are positioned as if they would clap, always sitting tall, tall, tall. As your abs contract, you move your arms forward. Now as your arms go back, you're allowing the air to naturally inhale through your nose. As long as you keep your spine tall, you'll be working strengthening your tiny deep posture muscles and stretching any muscles that are tense or tight as well. Let's do that again. Sitting tall, 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 mouth slightly ajar, shoulders rolled up, back, and blades sliding down your back. Contract the lower third of your abs by pressing the air out of your belly region, emptying completely. And release. Perfect. So there's one more thing to be cognizant of when it comes to this second focused action, and that is we will compress the lower third of the abs and use our arms at two speeds. Slow, and quick. Both are working the deep spinal muscles. The difference in the two is the way we inhale during the breathing. In the slow speed, you're using the HPA axis breathing, using your tongue technique, signaling to your nervous system. Place the tip of your tongue, applying your pressure against the spot behind your two front teeth. The video for in-depth how-to on this technique improves your all well-being is in Calm Mind, Relax Body video. Tongue placement remains during the slow exhale and inhale reps. The exhale is always the same, whether in slow or fast mode. You're always expelling your air by pressing your lower abs. Inhale, though, during the slow reps is done by inhaling through your nose, filling your belly, torso, and neck. Then repeat your exhale by pressing the lower third of your abs. Don't worry about getting it all in sync initially. You have easy access to the other instructions and can revisit them tweaking your slow inhale and exhale technique. Just first get started. We're already on to focused action number three, the very last layer of what we're adding on today in this routine. And, and what we're doing is adding the muscle, the rhomboid, the one that goes from your shoulder blade to your spine. And for this, we're gonna challenge our muscle with a variety of slow, then quicker arm movements to challenge it. Still in the tall position. There's the crossover arm swing, where you lift your chest very high as you cross one arm over the center of your body. This challenges that upper spine more and more as you become more proficient 
and add weights, but don't jump into adding weights too soon. Technique is more important and will take you further than any weights. As a matter of fact, if you add the weights too soon, you're going to be pulling your shoulders forward. Take your time. You want to do this for a minimum of 90 days before you really feel you have the technique down, where you're really expelling and using your lower third, your third of your abs to their best capabilities, where you're actually able to stay tall and strong. Focused action three that we're layering on, the ones for this particular muscle here. We are first making sure our position is still exactly how it's supposed to be. Tall, 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 jaw relaxed, shoulder blades slid down our back. When we use our arms, we want to always make sure that we don't let go of the shoulder blades. We're keeping them back for a reason. Another arm movement that we're going to be doing is arm presses, starting with the single arm press. Sitting tall, 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 your arms up to shoulder height. Rotate your arm as it moves back. You'll rotate the hand again as it moves forwards. Remember the clap and slap. And then we'll be doing together, back and forward. Moving into double arm presses. Every arm movement is nice and controlled. Let go of an extra repetition instead of trying to keep up. Again, you'll work into going faster with ease later. Most important is keeping your posture, which is your tall back, relaxed jaw, and shoulders in place. The next version of arm work is forearm folds. First, we'll alternate one and then the other. Once you got a hang of it, add your own resistance to the movement. You'll do it one at a time, then both in and out together. Please never snap your elbows. You are always in control and you're stopping just before they are fully extended. And you're also reaching out. This is activating many, many of your arm muscles. As you see, I'm holding the weighted balls. The two pound hand weights that I'm using are only an example of what you can work up to when you're ready. We are now ready for the daily routine, but first a quick thank you. Thank you to each of you who are taking the time to click the thumbs up button. I can't express enough how I appreciate your ongoing support, so thank you. And for all those who are following from week one, congratulations for your unbelievable progress. This routine continues to be a big part of your HP axis force, training your vagus nerve, optimizing your cortisol, reducing your stress, and setting up your body to achieve your goal. Now, let's add this week's routine. As in the past, when it comes to the exercise music, if you're not a fan, hit mute. Have fun. You're going to feel so good by the end. I look forward to sharing more Simplify Self-Care with you next Sunday. See you then.